importing Quicken data from QIF files. When you first start Home Accounts, it starts with the Account Setup wizard, where you can name your file, which we'll do now. You can also specify where to save this file. Specify bank accounts and credit card accounts. All of these can be edited later. Number of decimal places for your base currency. This is all straightforward. And the most important step, import existing data. Click yes to that. Click on next. Then finish the account setup wizard. And this will take you into the import wizard. You do this if you're starting a new set of accounts from some data from another application, such as Quicken. So select the Quicken legacy application here, click on next. The text on this page are simple, it's a simple explanation of how you um, export your data from Quicken using the QIF format, it's Quicken interchange format, so that you can import it into home accounts. Do read this page, it's important. Click on next. Now navigate to wherever it is you um, downloaded your files to. This is a uh, sample Quicken file that we're going to import here. Okay, this is an important page. The application has analyzed your Quicken file and on the left hand side here you can see all the accounts, categories and subcategories that it's found. On the right hand side is the home accounts tree. For example, you have your bank down here under loans, credit cards, etc. Under income and expenses, here are your income and expense accounts. These are the default ones. You can edit these, restructure them in any way you like. So you're not just restricted to a category and a subcategory, you can have sub, 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 sub. So, for example, under income and expenses, we have in expenses. Under expenses we have house, um, or for example motor. In motor we could, if we had two cars, have one car here and then inside there we can have its petrol and diesel costs etc. So uh, you're, not, you're not limited in any way with home accounts. Now what we need to do is map these to each other. Um, this is a little bit time consuming but bear in mind you only need to do it once. There are three ways to do this. First of all, let's look at the cash account. You could start typing part of that account here. If it finds a match, you can select it. That's done. Secondly, here's credit card here. If you know you have an account in the accounts structure here called credit card, you can just drag that and drop it into there. So they're mapped. Let's have a look at the third one. This is current. It's obviously some bank account. Um, you may not have a bank account already, in which case you can create a new one by dragging the old account name from the left and dropping it anywhere into your assets here. Incidentally, you could rename assets, bank accounts, whatever you like. It's up to you entirely. So there's three ways of getting this mapping going. Either selecting something um, that already exists, for example savings, we've got something called deposit account or dragging an account that matches from the right into the left or dragging an account from the left into the right. Do note that some accounts are not draggable from the left hand one. For example, um, business expenses is a main category with two subcategories. This does not exist here. You would need to create business expenses if you wanted in the structure on the right. You can do that very easily by clicking on the add edit accounts button. There's a full video on how to use this. It's very, very simple. But here you can add a new group, which uh, Quicken is, is called a category. Um, and you can add groups of groups as well. we'll close that for now. Okay, now I'm just going to go off and map the rest of these, which will take me a few minutes. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, it's nearly done. Last three left to do. Notice these are very easy. As I start typing, it finds the account very fast. If I press the Enter key, it automatically moves to the next one. So these can be entered just like that. Right, that's all the accounts mapped. Check them up. Again, you can edit this later anytime you like, so there's no worries. 
You can also step back if you're not happy with the step here. Let's go forward. The next thing now is to import the payees. Here's a list of all the payees found from your data. You need to um, turn off some of those that don't make any sense. For example, there was a blank one here. We can remove that. Also, some payees in this particular file um, are actually accounts or categories. For example, water, electricity, gas. Well, they're not actually payees, are they? So just turn those off because they are not relevant and will probably confuse more than anything else. We know we have a, an account for food, we know we have an account for salary. Um, a payee is you know, usually a name, so uh, turn off all those that you recognize as accounts. Gucci, that's uh, fair enough if you've got the money. Holidays is an account, O2, that's certainly a payee. That's no idea what that is. You get the idea, do that. When you're happy with that, that transfer money, I can see one here, that's completely uh, nonsense there. Click on next, and now it will go through all of your data and generate a preview. This will very likely take um, a good deal of time, so go off and make yourself a cup of tea. Uh, I'll uh, just fast forward and uh, see you in a second. Okay, now you can see all your uh, transactions here. You can scroll up and down the list. This is a, a preview just before they are imported and you'll be able to look at any mistakes. So any uh, row that is a different color, orange or red, will have a problem with it. Put your mouse pointer over the row and pop-up info will tell you what's wrong. As you can see, these particular ones have no balance or no total amount. Uh, we can select them here and delete them. Um, you may find other ones with other bits and bobs missing. You can also go in here and happily edit anything you want to. And when you're happy, click on Done. And it will now import the transactions and create your new file. There we are. Now then, we're in the Accounts view. The final thing to do is to open up your accounts and check that it makes sense to you. If you're not happy with any of the names here or you want to move the accounts around or create new categories, do this with the account manager. Click on the edit your accounts button here. The account manager opens up. There's a video on this on the account manager. It's very very simple. It's drag and drop. You can drag accounts around anywhere you like. Add new groups. Edit an account name. To do that, click on the account. Click on edit selected and change the name. Click on done when you're happy.